Hi, my name's Rich Harrington, and welcome to this week's edition of Understanding Adobe Photoshop. Now, when you start to use your paintbrush tools, you're often going to customize your brushes. Photoshop ships with wonderful built-in brushes. Remember, it's really easy when you take a look at the brushes here. There's lots of options. You scroll down through here, all sorts of textures and shapes. We can click the fly out and actually pick different ones here. There's some of our heavy brushes. And you see just really cool things that we can use. What I want to show you today is how to make your own brushes from scratch using some cool textures. Let's see how it works. I've just opened up four random photos here and we're going to actually design some custom brushes. I'm just going to hold down the option key and extract those away. That just simply cleared out all of our brushes. What I want to do now is make some new brushes from scratch. Now brushes are made from black and white textures and you can use photos in order to do this. Let's try this using these four photos. I'm going to go ahead here and strip away the color. Image, Adjustments, Desaturate. Then I'm going to run a levels adjustment by pressing Command or Control L and pull the black and white sliders closer together so we get some nice high contrast images. There we have it. And click OK. Once you've got that, you could use this to create a brush. Now oftentimes people will take a brush stroke by putting a simple real brush to a piece of paper and then scanning that in or taking a digital photo. That works just fine. But in the case here, we can make our own brushes by just grabbing the marquee tool and lassoing around an area and saying edit define brush preset. And I'm going to call this Rocky Crag. Make a new document. Click OK. Select our brush tool and grab our new brush and start to paint. See that worked pretty well, but not exactly what we want. So let's go ahead and undo here for a second and we'll switch back to our document. What would work better is to get a rounded, more gentle selection. So we're going to go ahead here and make a gentle selection. On a new layer, I am going to go ahead and make a circular selection. Here we go. There's our elliptical marquee tool. We're going to click and drag. Hold down the shift key, click and drag, and repeat. There we go. Choose Select Inverse and then Edit Fill and we're going to fill that with white. We now have a more gentle selection. Go ahead and blur that layer. First choose Select Deselect and then Filter Blur Gaussian Blur to get a softer edge. There we go. That worked pretty well. And now we can grab our marquee tool, lasso around that first texture, and say, Edit Define Brush Preset. Rocky Crag 2. Switch over to our new document, grab our brush, and start to paint. And notice it did that rough edge and has that scaled texture running through it, which works really well. If you want to, you could play with the settings for that brush. You can actually open up the brushes panel here and play with things like scattering, if you'd like to spread them out a bit more. Or play with things like shape dynamics and have them jitter in size. And play with the distance. And now you get a nice stroke. Let's go back to our document and I want to go ahead and play with this stroke here. Let's take our marquee tool and select this gentle stroke here and say edit define brush preset and we'll call this wisp. Switch on over. Let's go ahead and fill that with a solid color and flip to black and now we can paint with our brush. 
B for brush, grab our new wispy brush and paint, and you see how we get that wispy stroke that we defined. In this case, it looks a little bit like a tire track. That works well. You can always play with shape dynamics if you want, playing with angle jitter so they get a little bit more random. Let's go ahead and fill that with blue. X to flip back to black. And now you see it's something a little bit more like a barbed wire fence. And that's really where these cool strokes can come in. Now, brush strokes are very customizable. You can always make your own by literally drawing on a piece of paper or painting and scanning it and just lasso around it and say edit define brush. Let's look at one more. Let's go ahead and load our normal brushes. I'll say basic and I'll choose to append it to the end of the list and we'll grab a nice soft brush. D for default. X to toggle. And we're just going to limit this here by painting away some more of the photo. There we go. And I'm just painting to get a little bit of a gentle selection with those leaves. There we go. Good. Marquee tool, select around that brush and choose Edit, Define Brush Preset. We'll call this Flower Stroke. Switch on over to that new document. Let's go ahead and add a new layer here and we'll fill that with white. The shortcut is Option Delete to use the foreground color. Switch that over and grab our brush. There we go. It's right there at the bottom. And click. You see we get a nice sort of felt tip like stroke. If we need to, we could adjust the size. Left bracket key will go smaller. Let's go ahead and undo that stroke. And I want to play a little bit with shape dynamics, so I'm going to have it do a little bit of jitter with the angle and a little bit of roundness jitter. And then play a little bit with some texture and tell it to introduce some basic texture in there. Reset the patterns. Let's go ahead and choose grayscale paper and we'll use this texture on that and it gets a nice realistic surface. And now click and drag. And you see we get a very cool magic marker style stroke. If you like it with all those combinations, piece of cake, just come on over here to the brush tool presets and click and name that magic marker. And now you have a custom brush that you can use on any new project. Plus it doesn't have to be black. You can use any color that you want and create the symbols that you need as you're designing with your magic marker brush. My name's Rich Harrington. I hope you enjoyed this week's edition of Understanding Adobe Photoshop. There's lots to brushes. They're very powerful and very flexible. For those of you with some artistic talent, be sure to stick around next week when we take a look at using a tablet. This is a great way to combine brushes with a stylus and get some very flexible digital canvas. Also, I'd like you to be sure to check out our resource blog at rastervector.com. We have a ton of cool things you could download and check out. Thanks again.